What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. This video is going to show you how to import customers from an Excel file. Um, this happens if, you, uh, if uh, you're basically trying to get your customers from a different shop management like Mitchell One or Shop Monkey, any of those. And instead of losing your, all your customers, we can import just the customer information um, as long as you can somehow save them on an Excel file like this. So basically what you need to do when before you uh, leave your shop management, um, you need to export uh, your customer information uh, to, a, an, to an Excel file. Once you export the customer information, make sure just the customer information, not just like the invoices. Once you do that, you will need to rename the columns to the same names that we have right here. That's the only way for the shop management to be able to read, um, uh, to be able to read uh, like the column. It, the, the the shop management does not understand a customer this column unless it says customer name on top of it. It has to be all caps. It has to be exactly the same way that it's written. So it has to be customer name. This is the only information we can transfer: the customer name and the address in the city, in the state, in the zip code, and uh, the home phone number, and the business phone number, and the email. So we have what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So we can transfer all these. So remember, it has to be an Excel file. Number two, make sure at the bottom, the, the, it says sheet one. It cannot be said anything else. I mean, this is like the, and the default name of uh, of any Excel sheet it says sheet one, sheet two. Assume somebody changed it to customers, just rename it, and make sure it's called sheet one. Um, uh, so remember, so two things: then the, the columns has to match exactly, and then the sheet one has to match. Anytime you're importing data from here, it's like a nightmare, obviously, but it does work. I don't like it personally, but it does work. Um, so like I said, as long as this one's called cheat one and as long as uh, the customer name exactly in this format. So let's see how VIP, let's get, we'll get back to that. How do you import customers from an Excel file? So the first thing you need to do is just click on settings up top right here and just go to, actually I need to update VIP. So let's update VIP first. <laughs> it won't take long. And it is really fast here. So it takes like less than 20 seconds. All right, perfect. So we're gonna click on settings and we're gonna click on import customers from Excel file. We're gonna click on that. And it's going to remind you the same thing. This is the header of the information that we can transfer. It must be exactly the same way. Cost all caps and exactly in the same way. So customer name has to be customer all caps and customer name address. Let's just go back to here. Exactly the same thing. Customer name, customer name. Address one. Just If you have just address, it won't work. It has to be address one. Uh, city, city, state, state. Um, uh, so yeah, it's it's a little bit tricky. It requires some skills. But anyway, let's see how that works. So we're gonna click on select file. We're gonna click on the same file that I have right here. Click on that and open. And it's gonna do it automatically. Basically, that's it. It's gonna whatever files. It'll take some time, like probably a minute if you have a lot of them. Say thousands. And it will import them the way the same way. So if I go back to show all customers, I mean in this case it's gonna show at the end. Yeah, they're right there. So just import them right there. So yep, that's how you import customers uh, to VIP shop management. Um, from an Excel file.
So here's the thing about it. Um, if you're already an existing customer, definitely don't do it um, because first of all, you don't want duplicate customers. So don't go try to find a file. that's like, I get the customers right now. Let me import it and you're going to make it worse than what it is. You really don't want to import a customer who's not coming to your to your shop anyway. Then what's the point? Uh, second thing that people don't realize is if your customer, if you are already in business, your customer coming in anyway. So when they come in, you still can add them in. Number three is you still can export your customer to Excel file and have them on the other your old shop management system. Uh, so you can export to an Excel file. So the whole transfer is not as hard as people think. Um, uh, in one year, you'll get everybody back. Uh, the customer that came to your shop three years ago and he's not coming back, maybe he moved, maybe, I don't know, maybe he doesn't like coming to your shop anymore. There's so many reasons. So you gotta let go. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. And focus on somebody new. Just because you lost the customer doesn't mean you cannot gain 10 more. So keep that in mind. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.